this is Sibylla Mirage. Welcome to my channel. Today we have probably the most exciting video I have ever filmed. Like to me, <laughs> I cannot hide my excitement. I just, I had to, I had to glue fake lashes on for this video. Like seriously guys, just get ready for this. So this is not a minimalist, fine capsule jewelry collection edition by any means, <laughs> link down below. Although some may argue that, to me, this is a lot. Like, truly, a lot, a lot. And I promise to buy more now. Not to buy, not to buy. And I promise to buy, and I promise not to buy any more necklaces unless of course I really need one which is like always so I'm gonna show them to you in no particular order talk a little bit about each of them and then of course you'll get your close-ups at the very end let's go so the very first I'm gonna get it out of the way the very first necklace is a non-designer necklace but it's arguably the most valuable because it's a gift from my parents and it's a rose and white gold chain kind of like a herring between herring and something else um, it's not as thick uh, not as dense as herring and the pendant is a cross in rose gold and white gold with I think it's cubic zirconia but it shines really bright because it's set in like a diamond style setting with like empty space behind so like the so the light shines through, you know what I mean. So this one was the very first uh, jewelry piece my parents ever gifted me. So I have it on since I filmed the video because I completely forgot that I had it. The first one, I'm just gonna grab them and be surprised with you guys because they're like my, oh my God. <laughs> oh, another one of my favorites. This is the Diamond Pave Yellow Gold Vintage Alhambra pendant. I love it so, so much. I think the diamonds are very well pronounced. They're kind of big and uh, it's extremely shiny, very, very shiny. I really like it in rose gold. I like it a lot in rose gold, but I would not be able to match it with anything because they don't have bracelets. They have only earrings, I think. Do they have fine motif all diamond? I would never spend that much money. Maybe I would. I don't know. But they don't have, they only have a fine motif bracelet with um, two diamond pave motifs and then three gray mother of pearl uh, motifs. And I don't like gray mother of pearl because um, my necklace in gray mother of pearl, which you will notice is not in this video. It's because I sold it. I sold it a while ago because I saw wear and tear on that gray mother of pearl. It's just you need to be very careful and again it's not all mother of pearl not all mother of pearl wears the same so some mother of pearl is um more prone to like deteriorating and um scratching and it's just like more i don't know not as dense and some is different so each stone is different so you may be lucky and get mother of pearl that never shows wear and tear and you can shower with it and sleep and spray perfume around not directly on it but you know what i mean and use lotion in your body but uh, I got the very like the one that was deteriorating and I couldn't bring myself to wear it and enjoy it so I sold that one um, and this one I have a bracelet to match it with two um, guillotte, three guilloche motifs and two diamond motifs so um, that's why I really like it it's like my kind of going out my um, sexy dinner outfit um, set yeah now, next one is, oh my gosh, another favorite. Like, guys, why do I grab the most expensive ones right away? This is not the most expensive, but this is kind of expensive. This is my Ferrol 3 flower, 3 diamond pendant, and this is very, very feminine, absolutely stunning. My parents hate it. A lot of my friends don't like it because they say it's like um, a girl in third grade would wear something like that, like little flowers and blah, blah, blah. I really love it. I find it so sexy with um, a corset when it's like all open here and you have this like three flower mo motif. It's not very small but it's not big. It's very delicate and it makes your neck look and your entire like chest look very feminine and sexy. I right away think, um, which is 
the weirdest thing to say, but you know, like Van Helsing, uh, Kate Beckinsale in that movie, her outfits and this pendant, and I always feel like she was kind of masculine, but still very feminine and sexy in that um, movie. But I feel like if you put this kind of necklace on her with that dress she wore, I, I, I don't know, I'm just obsessed with that movie. I'm obsessed with Kate Beckinsale, her bone structure, her face, just, she's just my woman crush. I think I'm gay. I'm kidding. I'm just a little gay. Um, oh my gosh! Okay, this is the newest edition. Guys, this is, this is, again, a blob of mercury, um, futuristic alien warrior princess necklace. That's what I call it, and um, you can't tell me otherwise. So I love it very much. I can pair it with anything. I wear this one with my Gemini long pendant necklace. It's just, it goes well with everything. I did an unboxing for this one. Go watch that. Um, it's like probably the last video, the last video on my channel. Oh my God, this takes me back. This is my baby. This is my very first, very first um, necklace from Van Cleef. And this is a Sweet Alhambra pendant in carnelian and rose gold. And this is just... When I tell people that this is my favorite favorite out of all of my necklaces, they don't believe me, but it's true. It just... It ruined me. Like, you know when you have your first child? That That's how I imagine. Like, you love your first child the most because even if it's stupid, dumbass, loser, uh, fat kid, you still love it the most because it introduced you to motherhood. Like, this necklace ruined me. Like, because of it, I'm broke. Like, I spent everything on jewelry. So thank you very much, my firstborn. Yeah, we have a bond that no one can break. And you probably already know what this is. Um, this is my Gemini pendant with two boys. One of them has a pee, pee and I love him very much. I love him more than the other one. And yeah, it's just, it's an absolutely stunning pendant. It, um, it has a finish, like a foil type of finish on the back. It's just, I don't know, it's gorgeous. I love it very, very much. I don't know the technology behind it, obviously. Like the way they did it, like the way they manufactured, polished it, I think it's handmade. Um, they did an amazing job. I feel like it's just, it's stunning. It looks aged. This coin looks very aged, but still very shiny. Um, but still with some wear and tear and cracks on it. It's just, it's, ah, oh, I love it. And the chain, I love the chain. I love the chain more probably than the pendant because I use it in multiple ways. I wrap it around my ankle three times. I wrap it, or, or four times. I wrap it around my throat twice. No, that's wrong. My neck twice. Um, yeah, you can use it as a bracelet. That chain just goes a long way because it's like 72 centimeters or something like that. Now, this is the pendant that I forgot I had. I just got all of my pendants home because I wanted to kind of film this video. Um, I don't keep... Okay, so I don't keep my jewelry at home. And the reason for that is because I live in an apartment building. Everybody has access to my apartment. Maintenance, a fire department, they check alarms, smoke alarm, fire alarm, they uh, replace filters for my AC, and they send me a notification in my email that I almost never get. Like, I just ignore those. And then they have the right to enter my apartment. And I don't want to stress out. Whenever I take my dog for a walk, I don't want to come home and realize that somebody was there. So it's not that I have a lot. Like, you might think that, oh my gosh, she has like diamond collection or whatever. No, I don't. I really don't. You will see. You will see all of them. I have like 12 necklaces, I think, all together with this one. 12 or 13. So I just don't want to find myself. And even though I have an alarm and I have cameras, I don't want to have... To worry. So when I got this one home, I forgot that I had it. And this is my Tiffany, Tiffany and Co. New York 750. What is that? Like 18 karat, right? This is the necklace. It is so so cute. I love the heart. I love how shiny it is. And I also engraved it on the back. I did the pineapple because they have like fruit. They have different. Um, they had fruit, they had different, I think, letters and stuff, but I really love the pineapple. It looked really, really cool, and I'm obsessed with, like, I don't know, palm trees and pineapples and coconuts and everything that reminds me of, like, tropical climate. When you look at this pineapple with a magnifying glass, the attention to detail... I mean, I know it's done with a laser, um, I assume, 
but it's so tiny that all of the little um, details are extremely small. It's just like, it's like a fine single needle tattoo on this necklace and I'm absolutely obsessed with it, but I don't wear it as much. I don't know why. It's just, um, this looks to me like somebody in third grade would wear because it's like a heart, but I love it. I think that I need a longer chain for this one because I got the standard chain and it's like very short. But I feel like, but I feel like it was a, if it was a longer chain from Tiffany's, I would wear it more. And also Tiffany's chains are not as sparkly as um, Van Cleef and Cartier. So that's why I don't gravitate towards this necklace because the chain is just like a regular chain. It's the standard, it's the chain that comes with the keys, you know, diamond keys and all their like key collection, necklace collection. But um, yeah, I'm just not really obsessed with that chain. Now, this is um, my Cartier. I unboxed this on this channel. I think I got it for Christmas. I don't remember because, you know, I just open everything for Christmas, but I get it like half a year before. Um, and I'm like, this is an excuse. I'm gonna get it for Christmas. And it's so funny because in the store, I would be like, hmm, it's September, but Christmas is coming. So I should just get it and consider it my Christmas gift, Christmas present. And then before Christmas, I'll buy three more things. So it never works. It never stops me, but I have, I think I have enough necklaces now to safely say that, dude, calm down. You don't have anything to match these necklaces to. <laughs> you need to concentrate on other things in your collection. Stop buying necklaces, but it's also what speaks to me is what I feel like is worth it. So even if I have 10 more necklaces, I'm still going to love all of them the same and I'm going to try to wear them as much as I can and I always sleep in them. So we bond and we have special um, connection. I have a special connection with each and one of them. Yeah. So this is 0.2 carat. It's very small and it is um, E color and it's VVS1 or VVS2. So it's a very, very good diamond for this size. It is absolutely colorless. It looks so stunning. You do not see any inclusion in it. I, trust me, I examine my stones. It is absolutely flawless and I love it so much because it shines really, really bright, but it also gets dirty. So it shines really bright after you take a shower. Okay, this one, I cannot bring myself to sell. I wanted to sell it, but then the second somebody wanted it, I'm like, no, I want it more. It's like, you know, that guy that you don't want to date who's like pursuing you and it's like Ugh, get away from me but then you see him with another girl and you're like no bitch he's mine um that's kind of my relationship with <laughs> i don't know if anybody will relate to that analogy but um yeah this is the hammered yellow gold uh vintage alhambra pendant my second piece from vca and yes it's just a very Carefree, never scratches, you will never see any wear on it, any tear on it. It's just a, a workhorse that, um, that is just perfect. It's perfect. I, I think I find it so much better than Guilloche. I truly do. I, I just love it. But I love my white gold Guilloche. I love Guilloche too. So, you know, I love all of them. Of course, they're my children. This is my tiger's eye, tiger eye pendant. It is stunning. I did an unboxing of it. I am obsessed with it. It's just like a dollop of gold, liquid gold within the gold frame. Everything is so cohesive about it. Like it's just the frame complements the stone and the stone complements the frame. And it it's like a piece of like, I don't know, fiery amber, but better of course, because it's tiger eye and the properties of the stone are so magical. The properties of this stone are amazing and just so strong and powerful. You need to uh, take it easy. Uh, sometimes um, it can be too powerful. I read that some people are thrown off by wearing that stone at the beginning. So you need to just like put it in your room next to your bed and like sleep next to it. Don't put it directly on your body for uh, long periods of time because like for example, Capricorn and I think Aquarius or Virgo doesn't get along with this stone. But I also read that, don't get discouraged, I also read that when you um, 
slowly introduce yourself to the stone, you get used to it and like you fall in love with it. So I feel like every single sign can benefit from it, from its properties. And whenever I feel like cold, like I'm feeling cold or like runny nose, like the beginning of you kind of feeling sick and like, eh, I put this necklace on. I sleep in it or I can put it under my pillow too. It works um, and it needs to charge under the sun. So whenever it's sunny out, I just put it on and it charges and cleanses from negative energy and also charges. So it has to always be charged like your phone. Stones, crystals need to be charged under the sun. Some of them like moonlight, like for example, my mother of pearl, I charge under the moonlight because sunlight is sometimes a little bit too harsh, especially in California. It will. I'm afraid that stones will get too hot but i do put it under the sun too um, for like half an hour to an hour um and not very often but yeah um that's that's it about tiger eye now you think i am absolutely nuts but hey why buy this pendant so expensive and not believe in the magical properties of the stone you know it's like more of an excuse to buy, invest in it. Yeah, it looks good, but it also brings you success and money and power and confidence and people just see you in a different light or maybe you feel when you wear it in a different way and people perceive you differently. So it's all about believing. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, this is my little butterfly. So this is Mother of Pearl Sweet Butterfly um, in yellow gold. It is absolutely stunning, gorgeous, gorgeous. I wanted to sell it first, but then when I realized how they changed the sh uh, chains on the sweet pieces and that they're way thinner now, they are actually thinner. Um, yeah, I returned everything. Like I got the sweet bracelet, I got the sweet pendant, I returned everything um, because recently the chains were just, um, they were not good quality. So. I wanted to sell this one and get something else in the sweet size, but I'm like, nope, you're staying with me because this chain is robust. It's very thin. It's funny that I call it robust, but it's true. Sweet chains on sweet pendants are very, very hardcore, like hard wearing, but I want it to be thicker original version rather than the new thinner version that I came across three times and three times I had to return. I ordered from online and three times and three times I sent the items back just because like within 20 minutes, I just received it, tested the chain, sent it back because, you know, I really wanted a sweet bracelet because um, I have this vision. Um, it's not a vision. It's a picture I found on Pinterest like years back, but it's kind of how I wanted to wear my love cuff, love bracelet. But yeah, anyway, this one is staying because it's so delicate. I'm obsessed with butterflies, first of all. I want like a tattoo of a butterfly, maybe, but I want the butterfly to look like Van Cleef butterfly and not realistic butterfly or like a cartoony butterfly with like big eyes and I don't know. Uh, maybe in a traditional style even. I, I don't know. Like I'm obsessed with tattoos now. Like I'm in that phase, you know, when you like... <sighs> Not like a dark phase, but kind of a dark phase because the ink is black. So, um, I have two more, two more. Are you ready, guys? And then I'm not going to try them on because I have to leave, but I'm going to do the close up of all of them. And then you can request um, whichever one you want me to try on. So the next one is. And also when you request me to do in-depth review of a necklace. I will try it on for you. I will show you close-ups, but let's do one at a time. So subscribe to my channel because 90 something percent of people who watch my channel aren't subscribed. And once I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do my entire jewelry collection video. Like whatever you've been requesting, no more capsule minimalistic it's just gonna be the entire, every single thing I own. Designer, well, designer, let's just do designer, but I promise you we will do that as soon as I hit, because I just don't want to waste all of that effort, all of my effort, because I put a lot of energy in my videos. I really try hard. Trust me, guys, I do my, I try to do my best. Of course, maybe I can do better. <sighs> Sometimes I feel like I suck, but I'm trying. I'm trying really, really hard. So let's do one necklace at a time. Let's get to 10,000 
followers and let's film my entire uh, jewelry collection because I'm also curious. I'm curious to film that. I'm, I don't know. I'm probably gonna go crazy. Probably gonna have gray hairs after that video, but um, you know what? I will do anything for a subscriber. So um, this is my 10 motif in hammered rose gold to match my earrings. Well, I what did I get? I got this one first, then I got my earrings. I love it very much. It's very carefree. I can go and like swim in the ocean in it, which I never do. I can go to the jacuzzi in it, which I never do. And I can go to the pool in it, which you guessed it. I never do. But I absolutely love it because I have that flexibility. Like it's, I have options. I can do whatever I want with it. I can go to humid, I don't know, Florida, Mexico. I can go anywhere I want. Um, Dubai when it's very where it's very very humid and I'm not gonna worry even a little bit but this this guy you're not a guy you're a princess you're so stunning I love you I'm sorry I don't pay a lot of attention to you but you know I can't validate you too much because you're just gonna use me here. <laughs> oh, I have a very special relationship with this one. I just love Mother of Pearl. Um, yeah, I just love the way it looks. And I do see wear and tear on some of the flowers. I see like roughness already. It's not like mirror-like like it should be. But you know what? It's, it's okay. Especially the back ones are showing wear and tear slowly. And more because I always touch the motifs in the back and um, yeah but the ones up front they are very shiny still so it's okay you know um, you can't replace one stone you have to replace all ten of them but if for example one of them cracks or one of them is um, damaged you can replace all ten of them and they will give you a discount but it's still a lot it's like almost three thousand dollars if they didn't give you a discount but i think they give you like 50 percent off so you pay like fifteen hundred dollars i'm not sure but they give you a discount if you want to replace one stone and they replace all ten but if i saw more stones showing a little wear and tear then i would maybe you know invest in replacing them but you know it's my mom wore this necklace in vegas um for my birthday i gave it to her so maybe she grabbed it with like perfume on her fingers or lotion or something and um you know as long as nobody else damaged it but me or my family i'm totally fine with that and it's like yeah it has wear and tear but it was from my birthday i that's that's when i feel it happened um but yeah so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for subscribing liking commenting uh send um leave your requests down below and i will see you soon bye guys
Thank you.